Hey guys, today we have a very special new video. Uh, you can see there's mail here. I'm not going to flip them over because, well, I mean I could because I tried to block out everything, but just in case I didn't block out enough, um, we're going to keep them flipped over like this. <clears throat> uh, I'm very, very excited. I started purchasing single cards on, um, well, single cards and also card lots <clears throat> off of eBay and just mainly to get some cards that I really wanted but then it kind of you know spiraled out of control and so now I'm just uh, buying cards that I want willy-nilly. I love Houndoom. <clears throat> I love Houndoom a lot and <clears throat> actually let me go get the other cards. As I was saying I love Houndoom a lot a lot a lot a lot and so I started collecting Houndoom cards. I'm trying to figure out where I put the hollow version of this because, so this is the reverse hollow Houndoom. I believe it's from Plasma Storm Blast Freeze, one of those. I also pulled the hollow version out of the same pack, I think. I pulled the this in the reverse and then I pulled the rare hollow out. Then, um, so Houndoom is what got me started. <laughs> I love Houndoom. So these are just previous Houndoom card purchases from eBay that I have not made videos on before. This is just a regular rare Houndoom. Uh, Dragon's Exalted, I believe. Yes, Dragon's Exalted. So that's just a few. Those are three Houndoom cards that I've previously purchased. Again, this one I pulled myself along with the Hollow, which I'm not sure where that one is right now. Another one of my eBay recent eBay purchases is, are these two stickers. Obviously, I bought it originally for the Gengar sticker, but coughing is awesome. Um, yeah, that's what those look like. They came in this top loader, which was pretty cool too. So anyway, you can kind of... I just wanted to show those to you so you can kind of see where I'm coming from. I've already opened all of these just because I wanted to save and collect some until I could make a longer video to open them to make sure that the cards were okay and then to leave feedback on eBay. But <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure, okay. This is one of the more recent ones that I got. This one was kind of cool. It came with a whole bunch of like basically useless cards, but extra cards nonetheless. I believe most of them are from Phantom Forces. So I'll just go through these quickly with what's in here. Kind of, oh, these two are from Furious Fist. So it's, you know, not not what I ordered, but kind of cool. Anyway, here's what I actually ordered from this seller. Looky there, another Houndoom card. This is, um, here, I can take it out of the sleeve. This is a reverse hollow Houndoom. Should be better prepared for this. So this is a Houndoom level 41 reverse hollow rare from Great Encounters. And Great Encounters was part of the Diamond and Pearl series. I really like this card. Again, just to add to my Houndoom collection. It's in really nice shape. I bought this one for my boyfriend. This is Heatran. Heatran is his favorite Pokemon. It's a Pop Series 8 number one out of 17 and it is hollow it's really hard to see though so I don't know it's not in the greatest shape it's kind of scratched up but it was one of the only ones that I could find on eBay but you can kind of see the hollow there right yeah you can see the hollow so that's what that one looks like this one I had to get this reverse hollow haunter. This one is from the Arceus set. Arceus? Yep, this is from the Arceus set. Just a really cool. Sorry, I'm blinding you guys. Uh, reverse hollow rare haunter. Really, really like this card art. That's why I bought it. It's in really good shape. There's no scratches. Um, yeah, I really like that one. So, this one is a funny story. This one came like this. Let me see if I can. I just want to make sure it's from like an, a valid store on eBay. I just want to cover up my address. But this is how it came. 
it came ripped open like that. So I don't know if somebody thought that it was money. Uh, there's also this thing at the bottom that says non-machinable. So I'm wondering if maybe the machine caught it and uh, ripped it, but that's fine. The card inside is fine. I believe this one was also a Houndoom. Yep, I was right. <laughs> Let me get this one out. You guys just can't really see the shine all that great in these top loader things, whatever they call them. So here's the Houndoom. It's still in a sleeve. This one, I really need to come more prepared for these videos, you guys. So sorry. This is from Call of Legends. You can't see the set symbol because my camera sucks. This card is basically perfect. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Do I have to take it out even further to show you guys how beautiful this card shines? Like, look, I love the swirl pattern in Call of Legends. It's just a gorgeous card. So I was super happy to add that one to my collection as well. So here's another card. This is a Leafeon. This one is from Majestic Dawn, I believe. Yes, this one is from Majestic Dawn. It's just, a, an, again, gorgeous hollow pattern. Some of these older cards just have awesome hollow. And again, it's a card in perfect shape. It's a shape in perfect card. Leafeon is another one of my favorites that I want to collect all of them. Um, let's see. No, this one was another one that was in the wet mailbox, but it did not get damaged. So this is my final Houndoom uh, card of this video. So this person... I don't know if, like, this card is in really, really good shape. Um, again, all the cards are in good shape. I use my iPad, and I can, like, zoom in to see the backs, and I don't buy cards that don't have a picture of the back because you never know. But anyway, this is a Houndoom. Um, since I've pretty much said all the other sets, I should probably tell you this one. This is a Houndoom from Aquapolis. It is a non-hollow rare. And I just, again, really like the card art. This one, okay, so not only is it in a, like a normal penny sleeve, it's in a top loader, and then it's like sealed in this like plastic deal bopper. So that's why I was saying this person must have been like really good with their cards. I don't know. This package is very special because it is my very first PSA graded Pokemon card. Okay, you guys? Yes, I got it for a really, let me see. Okay, I want to flip it. <clears throat> so this card is really special because, like I said, it's my very first PSA graded card. I got it for a really good deal on eBay. It's sealed in this, and then it's sealed again in one of those weird plasticky thingies, and then it's in a PSA thing. So, I mean, it's protected. Trust me, guys. Can you guys guess, before I open this, or before I flip it over in the comments below, what Pokemon do you think... I got for my very first PSA card. And again, I bought this on eBay. I did not send off a card. Uh, it's probably not one that you would think I would go for. I'm going to try to cover it up like Dirium does. Okay, did you guys get your guesses in? Time to flip it over. So I got this Vaporeon 2003 Pokemon Sky Ridge Vaporeon Reverse Hollow card. I love, I love this card. Vaporeon is like in the wave and then there's like beach in the background. It's just it's so pretty and this card is a PSA 9. So yeah, very very happy with my very first PSA graded card. And I'll probably be buying more of these eventually of my favorite Pokemon but I could not pass up this Vaporeon card. So there's that. I have the Peace de Resistance. Uh, the binder is just an extra add-on. I bought it for the cards inside. Can you can you see what's happening here? Yeah. So I bought this as a lot on eBay. It came with the binder. I when I go on eBay, I just when I'm looking for like lots or binders, I'll just type in like binder of Pokemon cards or Pokemon card lot with binder, and then I'll find stuff. And the reason why I like to find them in binders is because, number one, they're more than likely going to be in better shape. 
And number two, you get a cool binder usually with it. And then number three, it was more than likely someone's collection. Um, so to me, that just means, again, the cards are going to be in better shape. So here's the binder I got. Super cool. I did not have one of these binders as a child. So I'm happy to have one now. And here's the back. Looking beautiful. Uh, it's Wizards of the Coast. And I think this was like pretty old. And I'll get to the contents without any further ado. So <laughs> this binder is gorgeous. Um, yeah. We'll just kind of go over these quickly. Most of them are in really good shape. Some of them are not in the best of shape. They are also, uh, not all of them, but some of them are in like uh, card protectors inside of the sleeve. So um, like this one is, they're kind of hard to get out without pulling it off, but see, card protector. So whoever owned this previously knew what they were doing. Um, but like I said, most of the cards are in really good shape. So we've got Clefable, Electrode, Jungle, Jungle, and then Dark Machamp and Dark Vile Plume from Team Rocket. And then most, uh, most if not all of them, do not have cards on the other side. And we've got a Kangaskhan from Jungle, a Nitto Queen from Jungle. The Nitto Queen is not in that great a shape. It's got, you know, just it's just a little bit dirty. Uh, we've got a Dark Arbok from Team Rocket, and a Dark Hypno from Rocket. <clears throat> I'm going to try to go through these fast, guys. We've got a Ninetales from Base Set, and then Pinsir, and a Snorlax, which are in, both in good shape, from Jungle, and then this Jumpluff card. The Jumpluff card has seen better days, guys. I'm just going to be real. But it's still a very cool card. And this is, I feel like it's Neogenesis. Let me, I can look. Yep. Neogenesis, the star. But yeah, it's just not in good shape, as you can see. That's okay. I don't mind. I got a really good deal on this. Then we've got Venomoth, Victory Bell, Vile Plume. I love that Vile Plume Hollow. And a Wigglytuff. Also love the Wigglytuff, all from Jungle. Uh, this space is empty, but we've got a Dark Golbat from Team Rocket, Dark Magneton, and a Dark Weezing from Team Rocket, all in good shape. The Weezing is like, not gonna lie, one of the biggest reasons why I bought this. I love Weezing, and Dark Weezing just looks awesome. Then we've got a Kabutops and a Light Azumarill. Those are from... Uh, Neo Discovery and Neo Destiny. And then we've got a Dark Crobat from Neo Destiny, which is another big, huge reason why I bought this lot is because that was another card that I seriously wanted. We've got a Haunter, a little beat up, but still a Haunter. And then a Ditto from Fossil. Both are, um, the Ditto's in really good shape. The Haunter has seen better days, but I don't care. The more Hollow Haunters, the better. We've got a Hollow Muck from Fossil, also in really good shape. And a Hitmontop from Neo Genesis, did I say? Neo Discovery, my bad, Neo Discovery. All in good shape. There's the back of the Haunter, you can kind of see. He's pretty beat up. Then we have an Entei Black Star promo. This is promo number 34. I do already have this card, but I don't mind. I've got um, these are just, I believe they're all rare trainers. None of them are holographic. I don't think they even came in holographic, but they're from base set two and then Neo Genesis. And that's it. And then there's some extra pages in here as well. Um, so yeah, that binder is like one of my favorite things. I love all the awesome hollow cards. And these all came in the same lot, which was pretty cool. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for this one. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. Something... 
Pokemon mail, something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.